Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, no water. No, 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 I'm an uncle, that officer. No, man, I can't from a mile and video, man. Because I have everything right after. Oh, yes, I have everything for you, my boss. We have everything for you. A viral video making the rounds on social media. Police officers trying to restrain a schoolboy in Oracabessa St. Mary last week. While he spin to the ground, the child could be heard crying for water. There were approximately five policemen on the scene. But what triggered the incident? The child's father explained he was stopped by a policeman who threatened to ticket him for not using car seats to transport his 11-year-old son and 6-year-old daughter. Car seat me generally say yes. So Mr. Bode, I think the, 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 the Prime Minister and the government review this and they revoked the, 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 the traffic rules. And he said, you don't know the law. So I said, I mean, I don't, I don't know the law. So same time I step out of the car, and when I step out of the car, I said, but the government talk about this, and my, my, my son is 11 years old, and my daughter is six. He said, you don't know the law, and don't come out and come exalt yourself. He says he walked away, and while relaying to a friend what had happened, another policeman approached him. He said, a long time, I should lock up here, you know. A long time, I should charge. He said, charge me for what? What did I do? He said, you call the police, idiot. So I said, call the police here that they can't say yes, they can't charge you. He said, alright, they can't charge my feet then, so what are you going to do? He said, I'm going to lock you up, I'm going to lock you up and think. He said, I'm going to off my hand because I want, my hand was fooled. And he went off and said, let me go. Don't touch me, don't assault me. He says the officer then pulled a gun at him. That's when his son reacted. That's the time when my son jumped out of the car. He and my daughter jumped out of the car and said to him, what are you going to do to my father? And the little you drape him as a 11 year old and throw a thump at him. When the little you throw the first thump, he go to throw the second thump and he hold him and say, What is a little boy? I do? Um, harass the police. So he pushed the little you and the little you hold onto his vest and threw him. He pushed the little you, the little you tried to, lo he was losing his balance. So he hold him onto his vest. He vest got a tour, left hand side. The child was also pepper sprayed. He jogging in his shirt, he burst off his shirt, burst off his belt, pepper spray my knee down in his stomach. When he knee down in his stomach, I said to the inspector, you're going to make them pepper spray my son? The inspector did nothing. He said nothing to the officers. The two were taken to the police station. The Child Protection and Family Services, CPFSA and Indicom intervened. What I see, they are using brutal force and they are using a force of violence and the citizens of Jamaica. They have a stigma between scammers and taxi operators. From once you're driving a Pro Box, a Toyota Pro Box, a Toyota Wish, a Nissan AD wagon, and a Toyota Fila, you are running taxi. The next thing, as a young guy driving a Mark X, a BMW or a Mercedes Benz are a scammer and that needs to stop. What kind of country are we living in? Where is the education minister? Where is the minister of police? Where is the prime minister? We need justice. We don't say the child may be not wrong to hit the police officer, but for you to do him like Floyd, George Floyd, it is so wrong. With your hands in his throat, your knees in his stomach, and pepper spray his eyes, that he has to stay one and a half days in the hospital. He asks for water, then say, Give him no water. No, man, you are so heartless. You have no God inside of you. 
Around. The Araka Mesa Primary School Committee launched a protest earlier today in relation to the viral video which saw a, a police officers accosting a student on the road last week. Now, since the fracas, Jamaicans for Justice and the Child Care and Protection Services, the CPFSA, have condemned the actions of the police who were on duty in the parish and are calling for an urgent investigation into the issue. Jamaicans for Justice is demanding that Police Commissioner Anthony Anderson provide an urgent and comprehensive investigation into the circumstances surrounding a now viral video on social media which saw police officers accosting a student from the Rockabessa Primary School in St. Mary on Friday. Many times we see emerging videos appearing on social media and the Jamaica Constabulary Force remains silent. The Police Commissioner remains silent. In this regard, we're saying that silence cannot be the response. The Child Protection and Family Services Agency, CPFSA, is also urging law enforcers to be more calculated in their tactics of de-escalating incidents, especially among children. You hear me, man? See you next two years from now. You might kill people on a bus out of the road, so you hear what? You see if you can find out if you get rid of the problem from early, eh? deal with it. Me not see no goodness right there, so. A problem me see to society right there, so. You see me? So you hear what? You angle the situation to the energy where the man is out. If you feel like him bad enough or him big enough or him brave enough, you behave them way there. Him no respect law and her ah, That's So you hear what? Deal with him according. That are my thing. You see me? Brute force. Sometimes you have to meet fire with fire. That's how you go. Yeah. Well, I'm a juvenile still, you know, so they never have to deal with him. So, but as well, all time people used to say, bend the tree for me, too. You see it? Because they look at you that need discipline. I don't know how to go on or nothing at all, but you just have to bend the tree for me, too, because sooner or later, um, yeah, yeah, come out to turn bad man. Police are not here that for just two hours and lick a school you pan gong and pepper spray man and so I must some happen. Police are not mad people, are not mad people in that force. Well, it depends on what I'm doing. Huh? Maybe I'm deserve it, maybe I don't deserve it. On the other hand, we know how the security force in Jamaica is right now. Everybody depend on eye alert and look like everybody look for bad man stripe. And on the other hand, you have these little so-called innocent youth that go to school with gun and knife and all them, uh, pre, uh, what do you call it, promote badness and um, bad man thing and uh, scamming and all them thing there. We never know, so if you just wait to hear the full story, what caused it. But at the end of the day, maybe him just need some tough love or show him what manhood can be, or maybe they might show him Hey, you need to change your dirty ways. Depends on what you do. But at the end of the day, yeah, some kids, some kids need threatening like this. Uh, but do we deserve it? We don't know yet. Me eat, give a a voice note on a video where me know where to start from because we can't see it where to start from. As they further just say, um, maybe the police attack him and flash out the police or something, you know. But the, the generation has something wrong with them, like something wrong with them, man. Like, me can't understand when they might eat, if I hear them at inhale or something, but something not add up, man. What cause all this for the police? We call that pepper spray. It's have a bit of a point where police are put on any control, they have disobeyed. Yeah? Not saying where police are right, but you know, man, some, you find all the teacher will get back from the student. Now, sex, now, mobby. Treat the teacher and back the female teacher. So, you know, them pick me and say, say, for me, I tell them, say, I tell them, the next man is the criminal mind. Now, nah, I go business, I tell them, say, say, can do it and get away. Yeah? And see, Jamaica law, teeth, school pit, with this school pit, and we have, and I want a straight line, but, yeah, the teacher, and they want to go back to school, and they make a little girl. 10 days suspicion. What is that? That's like a spit and 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 a you know, I detain him for him to lock him up. And a wicked man with a fire gun. 
I want to lick a youth. And all and all my daughter try to talk for him right. But guess what? Everybody I put feelings in everything and I talk about respect. What the fuck is respect? Eh? What is respect? What do you mean by respect? Nobody no need to give nobody no respect. Because me know for your facts, eh, as a man living in a country, eh, a Caucasian people alone get respect. White people alone get respect. Our people with money alone get respect. Anybody else? No respect. I mean, I respect people when I respect people. Yeah? That what a police brother you do. A big fuckery. Big fuckery. I'm not hide and talk. You can't. Suppose a picnic did sickly. Eh? And then go so now, boom, and throw him down for the and see him spread out dead. You know what would happen? He would have said, Oh, a picnic did sick already. And re, 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 te, 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 me no see little you do nothing. Fima talk about him a bad man. What? You, you know what is a bad man? You see these police, them got no sense. They just look for you and, and just tell themselves this and tell themselves that. What's wrong with these people, bro? I don't nah get this thing, brother. The little youth say, if you lock up him father, you know, can't get figure out school. The boy no want sufferation take him from early. So I make sure I tell them that me and I tell them. Say, sister man and sister go suffer if you don't take away breadwinner. What kind of foolishness them my people are promote, brother? I talk about where I go and where you look boy if you get kicked up because he might rail up and he not respect for uniform. What you talk about, brother? No uniform, you know, what's the difference between the police uniform and female uniform? Eh? For the mean of them uniform, I mean shit. Because I see man, I see them have gala wind up and all these things in a uniform. I see them there, they are about to jump up and do all different tick tock and all these things. Security get fling, I get all them, I get drawn up because them they're on tick tock in a uniform. And every day, police they're on tick tock in a for them uniform. What the fuck is them uniform? Them uniform no mean shit. Me see bad man wear them uniform a rap place. Them, them, them uniform no mean shit. It's just a fucking uniform. Nothing more clothes. Talk about respect. Respect them for what, brother? If they not offer no respect, first and foremost, where the father do? You should even all the Harlem police boys. You're not even, you know what say? Some places you can't put an handcuff on a man in front of him child. I don't even want to talk about this, brother, because this makes me feel vexed, you frig. If I ever say if I ever my picnic, when me don't jump, who? Because I don't know what this them have to talk about JCF force. I rubbish them here. Big garbage. One big chocolate load of garbage. Them are overused, them power. Them now go out there the and pull gunman door. They might take up gunman with big blood, with big black fat and big, big black this and big black that. And then now uh, do nothing to them, no, they don't carry them in and then uh, fling them all over the place. Well, based on the information that we get from the video um, and also from the news, because it was on the news, I realized that this child is 11 years old. He wasn't behaving like an 11 year old. But, um, you know, listening to him. Apparently, he's trying to defend his father. I don't know the full story, so I'm only going off the part that I have seen. So, uh, he's defending his father because his mother left him, and all he has, or probably all he knows, is his father, which is very good. Because in our society, most of the times, we have the children who are left with only the mother. All they know is the mother from their born until when, at whatever age, all they know is the mother. So, in this situation, it is good that he has a special bond with his father. However, that doesn't give him the right to behave the way that he did. But the fact that he's a child, 11 at that, don't know if it's primary school or maybe first form in high school, the fact that he's a child, I think that was excessive force on the part of the police. It was definitely excessive force because even if it was an adult they were doing that, it would have been excessive force. So can you imagine big, 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 big police officers doing that to an 11 year old child? That was excessive force. So, on the part of the child, he didn't have to behave the way he did. He needs to learn self-control even though he's young. And for the officers, they need to learn how to contain situations and control persons. This is a child. You're supposed to be able to control a child. 
you know, get him to sit or whatever without kneeling. You don't need to be kneeling on an 11-year-old child. So the officers are wrong to kneel on him. That was excessive force. And the child is wrong in his demeanor. He should not have been chucking. I didn't see him doing it, but the, the, the video is saying that, yo, you are a chuck police officer. So he should not have been doing that. And the father or whoever that was, that was videoing, he just added some gas to the fire right there because he's videoing and talking. He should try to calm the child down. He said the man up there is, is, is his uncle, so I, I, I don't know if he was the one who is the father or he's the uncle of the father or whatever. But he, he was adding fire to the whole situation, so he, you know, boy, I tell you, our society is just wrong, brother. Why my people will perish because of lack of knowledge? Boy, oh boy. If you don't know better than you, that, that's not going to be held against you. Because even the Bible tells you, say, when you're ignorant, then God will kind of dismiss your ignorance. But once you have knowledge, then you need to act better. Then police can act better. I look a little bit near, I go, I go, I go, all and pull you. See if you use excessive force. I would justify pepper spraying the kid if the pitney did have a pencil and a stab you or some weapon for a stab you. Then you, you know, you use pepper spray for restraining him. But Lord of God, the picnic come like him, I got through too much. A lot of these children are going through so much because you might talk about, say, uh, whoever raised him and how much team I got through and him, I cry for help and people. Just, them, the police, them, they didn't want to hear that. Them just. <sighs> boy, oh boy, I mean, I know. It rough though, I don't have the solution. But it rough bad. I don't know them police. And the police, them are foreign and Jamaica. Them just brutish some of them. But I can admit, say, the Jamaica police, them, them just lace with ignorance. Because four times out of, or maybe three times out of, out of ten times, you might get an aggressive officer here. For the most part, the officer, they are pleasant. If them see you as a threat, then it's different. But them now gonna come to you like aggressive up front, depending on the situation. Because they're supposed to de-escalate and really find out what's happening. Soldier not really ask no question. And that's why I, mean, I understand when people say soldier couldn't do this. No, soldier never create for de-escalate situation. Them train for war. Police train for de-escalate situation. And they need to have they need to have monthly training for these police. I wonder if they want me help out there. They need me help out there. Because would I have some workshop for these police, you know, and counter resolution, I owe them for the deal with people. Because, not because a lot of people in the public act like all hag and drunk. I know everybody like the rough trip. Everybody a dog shit and drunk stomach. People need and people want to be treated with decency. And because them go down at the ghetto and then deal with the hostile, ignorant, illiterate, non-progressive people them down there, them feel like so everybody illiterate and non-progressive and then just come with them aggish behavior every time. Every time. And it's very sad. Poor kid though, because this is just traumatizing. Me, me, I watch it and me traumatize myself. Much more him. They could have deal with the little you a little better. And how much of them, the police them need to start drinking some plant and parge or something. I mean, if I have my husband make them some parge, because them two blood clad weak. Them need to start drinking some Irish mass. They need to lift off of the blood clad special. Because them boy are Jamaica, not just the security forces, boy. The boy them, them not weak. From morning till night, them dig out them and make them a drink special. They not have no sustenance in them bodies. So they can't deal with nothing. And the other day, I see. One look at police, the man a swing him, one of the man a swing. Like, that embarrassing, sir. And you really got through training? And so weak? Do better. Them need to do better. And are they supposed to protect people? No, sir.